Yo, I don't know what's with the clapping. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> what's up, OG hat man? Appreciate you being here. All the way from the UK. That's amazing. Sewer rug, JJ's here. I knew, JJ, I knew you needed a stream today. This is perfect timing. <laughs> Dean's still dead. Appreciate you. King Phil, I see. Apathy Miller's here. Tribal Buddha is here. Well, today, you guys, we have, honestly... Some RTAs I'm really very excited to build. It's been a minute since I've vaped the J2S3. What's up, J2S3? This is a very special J2S3. Ch ch checking in from Malaysia. Well, happy to see you here. Well, shout out to you from California, USA. Hope you're doing well. Peace and vapor in your lungs, bro. From Malaysia, that's cool, man. This is a very special J32. I mean, I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. J, it's the J3S2. The name of the RTA is the J3S, and this is the J3S2. This is a very special J3S2, and it's been way too long. And I was inspired by last week when we did the GT4S. It's just been vaping amazing. In fact, it's out in the living room. Damn it, I don't even have it here. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay. It's out in the living room, but I've been vaping that GT4S like crazy from last week. Like crazy. And so I kind of inspired. I said, what other RTA have I really liked and then just abandoned for many months? The answer to that question was the J3S2. And we'll get to that, I think, second, because first, because first... Ba -ba -da -ba. This is the only part I can show you. This is it. Greetings. Oh, Tim. Greetings to Germany. Look at this. <laughs> okay, well, Monarchy Poland. But I talked to the Atmazoo guys at uh, Hall of Vape in Germany. What's up? Oh, two, we got lots of Germany in the house. So I missed the Hall of Vape. Oh, no, that's okay. Hey, look, Ebertie, e e we're going to get to another Hall of Vape next year. I want. I really hope there's another Hall of Vape next year, and I hope. Uh, I mean, I will be there if there is a Hall of Vape. I will be there. That's what I want to say. This is the Atmazoo Tripod Two. Whew. I need to give a shout out to Vapor Swaggins, aka Crypto Swaggins, aka Swaggins McGraggins. I don't know what that means, but uh, he gave me a taste of my first Tripod RTA. Ugh. Pardon me, the taste of my first tripod RTA, loved it. Holy loved it. Loved everything about it. I loved the restricted lung. I loved the mouth to lung. I liked how it went together and came apart. I liked how high end and like well machined it felt. This tripod too, I eyeballed it, like I said, at the Hall of Vape show in Germany. When I was in Germany, at Mizzou was there, and they had like one, I think. Maybe they didn't have many. I think they had one or two. And I just oogled it, and we were talking about it, and the tripod too, and uh, lo and behold, it, it just kind of showed up. And I can tell, man, it's so tripody already. Let's here, here. Here's the thing. I'm slacking. Look at this, Chrome. Appreciate that hella chat. Fist bumps galore. Fist bumps everywhere. My, favorite, my first thing I'm already impressed with is that bottom edge on there. Should have given myself a little manicure before today, shouldn't I have? That bottom edge on there. So it's just so well machined and so nice. It already feels cool, like a like a cool high end RTA, and that impresses me. I know literally nothing about it. But I'm assuming it's going to function the same way as the tripod, right? I mean, am I wrong in, in assumptioning this? Yeah, there should be. Yeah, okay. I was not wrong in assumptioning this. It's going to function, I believe, exactly like the tripod. There's ju It's just a little tab and notch system. Why didn't I do that up close? Why didn't I do that up close? I didn't know we were just diving into this so quick. Yeah, it's just a little tab and notch system. I, I don't know, what would you call that? Hook and a groove? Hook and groove? Hey, Grim Green, how about a shout out to a fan and follower from the Middle East? F fuck yeah, Mo Money, Mo Problems. 
Welcome. Happy to see you here. Hope you're doing well. What are you vaping on today? Let me know. Tell me what you're vaping. Yeah, it's like a little hook system at the bottom. And there is a way to line this up on the V1. But on the V2, it doesn't appear that there is. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe there is. And maybe there isn't. Maybe you do just have to eyeball it. And that's okay. You can usually feel it. Oh, yeah. Well, it is easy to eyeball. You do have to eyeball it. On the tripod V1, there was a little, you know, arrowy type of thing that kind of showed you. But this you can eyeball and press it in and chop wood. Chop wood! Chop wood! Adjustable airflow is not a thing. That is not a thing? That is not a thing. All your airflow adjustment is done completely underneath your coil. And so you end up with, boom, a bunch of different airflows. The restricted lung on the tripod V1 is great. I'm assuming the restricted lung. I'm going for this, that 1.2 millimeter airflow. Mouth to lung is calling my name. So, hashtag sorry, not sorry. I'm a mouth to lung guy. I have one mouth to lung RTA set up right now, the Bishop from uh, the vlog live stream not too long ago. And it's okay. Like, it's fine. It's okay. I, I don't know. I'm not in love with it. And I want to try this in mouth to lung. 1.2 millimeter. You can't stop me. And I guess I'm going to shut the, uh, the chimney way down too, right? Because that's a chimney insert. Two millimeter? Well, we'll just look. One step at a time here, right? One step at a time. I don't even know what I'm getting into. There is a separate... I wonder if this is like the mouth-to-lung chimney. That very well could be. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Let me see this top. Oh, yeah. The top is great. Oh, that top feels so nice. There's no threads. It's all hook and loop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that big ass tool is. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll get there in a second. We'll get there for sure. I don't know what that big ass tool is for either. But this, oh, three quarter turn. So nice. So precision, you know? Much precise. Two little fill holes right there. Yeah, see, that looks like a different chimney diameter going through the middle than this by a long shot. So I think this is the chimney we're probably going to have to end up using. Let's put this on a device in the meantime. This is not going to be its final resting place. This is just going to be its final building place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Boop. It's just a twist. Now this might thread off, right? Oh, wait, I'm not doing something right. I'm not doing something right. Let's get to this big ass tool. What is this big ass tool? It is a Phillips head screwdriver. Boop. With uh, on a uh Okay. I bet you're supposed to use that. Are you supposed to actually use this to release them? I wonder if you're supposed to use this to release them because it fits in there perfectly. I'm going into this completely blind. I just want you to know. I'm I'm Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a little locky nut. Oh, look at the little locky nut. Okay. Okay. So that means I can unscrew the locking nut. That means there should be a locking nut on this guy too. In fact, hang on. Do I have something I can put this on? No, oh, no. I mean, I used to. Where the hell? Nope. 
I don't. That's a bummer. Here's the thing. Let me try to do this locky nut. Grim found the right, found the nut. I found the ass and anybody remember that Tremors? Remember that movie Tremors? Love that movie. Okay, okay. Nut comes out. Nut comes out. Nut comes out. Top comes off. Oh, there you go. And you can replace your chimney. Is it smaller? Uh, it looks the same height. Yeah, that looks to be exactly the same height. If it would focus on something other than back. Yeah, it looks to be the exact same height. No, those are not chimney inserts. Tripod 2, don't use pins installed inside the deck for restricted lung. These are plugged from below. You can separate the deck and install them from below while keeping your build untouched. Whoa, okay. Here we go. So, so there's... Okay, so it goes from a 3.5 to a 0 0.8. That makes a lot more sense. Mo Money, more problems? I'm, I'm glad you're here. Shout out again. <laughs> Mo Money, more problems. Okay, I appreciate that. I'm Like I said, I'm kind of going into this completely blind. This is how I'd go at it if I was just a consumer. Even, man, maybe if I was a consumer, I'd try to watch someone's video first. For this product, not Grim Green. Todd, I'd watch Todd. So wait, you're telling me... You're telling me... What? How does this come off? That's This is fascinating. How does this come off? This looks like one complete unit at the bottom. This looks like one... Thank for that subscription, Luigi. Luigi. This looks like one piece. You're telling me this airflow comes off? You're telling me this airflow comes off and it goes... It screws off. All right. Let's try. Oh! Genius. Oh, my God. Uh, it is just a three-quarter turn. It's just a three-quarter turn. And then, yeah, there's your... You have this airflow that's already in there. Or there's no airflow in there? Oh, yeah, there is an airflow in there. Four millimeter. And so this... What? Oh my god. And then you just twist it. That's kind of amazing. I wish my thing I'm going to go wash my hands. That's a BRB moment. I need to go wash my hands because it's grossing me out. I was just thinking like what did I forget to do? Yeah, I forgot to wash my hands and they look too gross to function on you on on the internet. That's that's just gross. So, hey, listen, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself for a second. I'll mute my mic. I promise I will be right back. I just need to wash my hands. It's grossing me out.
feel it. I'm hoping that's a little bit better. You know, it's the best I could do on such short notice. I only had a few days to prepare for this stream. Anyway, what's up, Jake Scrapwood? What's up, Butterquup? Butterquup? Butterquup. But let me go back to showing you how genius this is. The airflow. It's pretty sick. Four millimeter. So, yeah, you, you pop these in with an O-ring, and then you kind of give them a little twist, and then those arms will fall under the tabs, right? So you can kind of press this in and give it a twist, and then that's your four millimeter airflow. That's so great. And then you can twist it out. I mean, uh, there, obviously there's much better ways to do airflow, but for this RTA, for being able to pop your deck out, and then I keep relocking it on the other side, popping your deck out, and then being able to detach this and change your airflow. Why is it so difficult this time? Why is it so difficult this time all of a sudden? Okay, just give me the airflow. Boom, there it is, okay. So how do we get the point eight? This has to go in another one, right? Or not the point eight, I don't wanna use the point eight. I wanna use the 1.2. What am I thinking? Point 0.8? That's that's not the real Gerard Butler airflow. That's Lee airflow. I know face meat vapes mouth to lung as well. What 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 airflow millimeter do you like, face meat? And can this just go in here? No, it cannot just go in there, but. Can it go in the four millimeter one? No. Okay, so the tiny airflow pin can't go directly in the bottom because the, the... This is why I have an up close camera so I can just show you instead of trying to explain it. This is the airflow that goes in the base. This is the one and a half millimeter. So I was thinking maybe it went in here Right? And then you put this whole thing in the base? Yes. Okay. Whoo! I hope that's correct. That seems correct. That fit in there really well. 1.2 millimeter. So I can just leave this 4 millimeter in here. Boop. Okay. Sick. And then it's just a three quarter turn back on. And now we can build and the airflow is restricted. Oh, that's interesting. This is going to be really interesting. This is going to be a really interesting mouth to lung because usually uh, on a mouth to lung, they restrict the airflow down right underneath your coil. You know, it's restricted right there, right underneath your coil. This is as well, but it's lower, so it's restricting the airflow farther away from where your coil is. It's restricting it down, and then you still have a, a, a ways, like a chamber up. You see what I'm saying? If you look down there, you can see down where it's restricted. It seems farther away than most. It seems farther away than most, and I'm wondering if it'll be it'll for protect the if it'll do anything for the flavor. You think that'll be good? You think that'll be good, Tribal Buddha? We'll see. I'm going round wire. We're gonna put round wire in this. 100 percent round wire life. Uh, unless I have anything like super cool that I can find suddenly from uh, breeze tones or you know. But otherwise, we're going to put 24 gauge wire in it. I still need to clean up my drawers. Two and a half millimeter. You know, just a super vintage build. 
That's three millimeter? No, that's too big. Too big. What are you? Two and a half millimeter. Perfect. Two and a half millimeter. And it, I mean, otherwise the deck is essentially the same, right? There's no differences. The deck looks the same to me. There's little wick catch cups that you can mic vapes or thumb your wicks into. Those lead to little windows on the outside where you control the, you know, the juice flow. Feels like a tripod. That airflow from the bottom though, that's sick. That's not something that's, that's, that's different. Wrong placement for the airflow pin? No, that's not the wrong placement for the airflow pin. Is that, you think that's the wrong placement, Tribal Buddha? Are you trying to mess with me right now? Are you messing with me? Twenty-four gauge nichrome wire. Round wire. Living that round wire life. This nichrome is also years old. Years old. Does nichrome wire sit and go bad? It goes you oh, you think it goes in the top right below the coil? Oh, okay, let me reevaluate this then. Let me reevaluate. That could very well be the case. Tribal Buddha, look, you've never steered me wrong. It seems to fit on there fine. Okay, well then let me get a thing and poke this out. could be correct about this tribal buddha try bull boo duh tribal buddha what would i do without you that made sense to me i would have just continued on that made perfect sense to me. I was like, I'll pop it right in the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, it does It does easily go straight into the top. And now you have a mouth to lung that makes much more sense. Why would I even think that? Yep, there you go. You got a nice 1.2 millimeter airflow directly below your coil. Thank you, uh, thank you, Tribal Buddha. You should be, you need, yeah, you need, <laughs> you need to be my consultant on this. Well, you know, like I said, I'm going in completely blind, 100% blind, just no idea what I'm doing. That's why I was thankful to see uh, people from Germany in the chat. Simply Richard, oh, it's Valerian Steel. How you doing? Welcome. having a little vape break all right let's build some uh 22 gauge or 22 gauge 24 gauge nigh uh chrome three four five six Yeah, sure. I mean, I feel like this is going to be great. I like that the first build I'm putting in this is a round wire build. I feel like that's a proper uh, a proper way to introduce myself to the tripod too. Just baseline, round wire build, Phillips head screws. So of course I grab my flathead screwdriver.
That's, that's pretty good distance on those screws. I feel like that's some real good distance on those screws. You could put something ridiculous in here. Fusey, alien -y, and the such as. Yeah, Nyachrome. How do you pronounce it? Nyachrome? I think everybody knows it's Nyachrome by now. Yeah, uh, you know, and they kind of give you... Man, uh, they kind of give you... I, you know, and this was on the V1. This was the case with the V1 as well. But there's a notch, you know, cut right into the middle that lets you place your tool right there and keep your coil completely centered, precisely over the airflow, directly in the middle. Kind of genius. All right. Is this the easiest round wire build literally of all time? Maybe. Now, I wonder how close I have to cut these. Should I try it the old school way? Should I wiggle them out of place? Should I wiggle them till they snap? Let's see. Oh, Dickie Mo rule. Dickie Mo rule. Can't forget about the Dickie Mo rule. We, we, we capture our lead clippings now. We do not just let them go flying all over the place. That's the Dickie Mo rule. This is a recent rule change. All my old videos where I just let them go flying, those are all going to get strikes now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How YouTube-y of me. Uh, I'm interested to see how much uh, clearance clearance because... Let's see. We can t test this right now. Oops. Uh, I did eyeball it before. How can I not eyeball it now? Nope. I think it's it's definitely it's definitely grinding away on those leads. But you can I can feel them. I can feel them poking out the edge. And there's just literally not enough tolerance. Those tiny little leads. I'll try to manipulate them out of the way. How about that? Can you see those? Those are keeping the top cap from going on. Hang on. Let me try. We'll try the surgical uh, the surgical lenses, you know. Really get in here, turn on my light. Pull it pull the Nick Divine here. Really get in here and, and be surgical about this. Yes. Oh. Nope, that, that didn't take care of it, but it was close. That did. All right. One down. All right, all right. Okay. Mission accomplished. Hang the banner. Mission accomplished. Now this should fit on here. Yes. Perfectly. Perfectly. Amazing. Okay. Oops. Oh, yeah, the German, yeah, bison, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, the German tax is one of the things that could 
possibly destroy Hall of Vape or harm Hall of Vape very much. The German tax is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I was talking to uh, Dimitri, and I think I said this in my Hall of Vape video, but uh, they had this same tax in uh, Greece, and they got it overturned in Greece. And Dimitri seemed to think that the German people could do the same thing on the same, almost the same exact grounds. They got the tax overturned. So, you know, don't, don't lose hope completely, but the German tax does suck butts in a severe way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so before this, I'm going to just put this mouth-to-lung tank back together. And then you got to put the nut in. And you got to chop wood. I wish I had a socket. It's a socket on one side. I wish I had a socket I could just pop this into. But I don't. I'm having to use my hand. And that's okay. It's probably better to just keep these finger tight and not get, like, too much crazy leverage on it. Because it's delicate, you know? It's a delicate little RTA. All right. That's a crazy, crazy reduced chimney on the inside. The flavor on this might be unbelievable. You know, it might it might just be shockingly good. Uh, guava's going on the inside. It's the deep cuts. It's the guava. I love the crap out of it. Yeah, I agree, Ern. Buck Flumberg. Yeah. I want this guava to just taste amazing in this. That's my hope. All right, so let me glow these real quick. Uh, new coil, sure. Um, it's going to be, it's reading up 0.3 right now, but it's going to go up for sure. So I'm going to try to glow this at 20, 20 ish Watts. It's a, you know, it's a <laughs> round wire build. So it's going to glow in 0.2 seconds. Perfect. 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 Let me get my cotton. Oh, wow, Randy, I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, you never need anything. You, you hit me, you slide in those DMs on Discord. You ever need anything? I got you, fam. You want something? I'll send you something. Uh, if he did, I haven't got it yet. Apathy Miller, send send the cornbread pudding. If he did, I haven't got it yet. I really want to try it. Cornbread pudding. Dude, I'm still on pumpkin spooge. In fact, all my good vapes, what I've really been vaping is all out in the living room right now. <laughs> Every, almost everything awesome is out there. But I've been on that uh, tribal Buddha pumpkin spooge. I'm all about that pumpkin spooge life. Whew, feels good. Okay, then I think we can just... Woo! I just haphazardly eyeballed those wicking, that, that wicking and those cuts. Haphazardly. But I think that's good. I want them to, uh, you know, what's the, what, what's the, what should we vote on, on thinning these wicks? Should we thin these wicks out? I feel like we should not thin these wicks. I feel like the Atmazoo tripod is a good, good wicking RTA. I might fluff them a little bit, but I don't want to thin them out. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. See. <laughs> so I'm not even getting cornbread pudding. And now Urn's on the spot to give me cornbread pudding because Apathy Miller's making promises for Urn. I think we can just thumb these in with the length that they are. It was not my best thumbing. Yeah, dude. Perfection. Thumbed straight in. Boom, thumbed straight in. Easily thumbed straight in. Fluff them? Yeah, no need for thinning. Raspawas? Th thank you. I, I like fluffing more than thinning. But I'm going to get rid of some of these loose ends. But I don't think I don't I don't ever remember thinning my wicks on uh, the tripod V1. Yep. Oh, God, this is gonna be so great. You know when it wicking just feels good, feels awesome, and you go yes, thank you. That's how this wicking feels. Good, awesome, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All those things. Sick round wire right in the middle. So good. I love a good round wire build. I just love the crap out of it. In fact, in fact, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I ran across this guy on Instagram recently. Yeah, this guy. And all he does, all he's been posting is just loads of round wire builds. Here, can you see this? And I was like fascinated. I came across his YouTube and I was, or his Instagram and I was like, whoa, this is amazing. This is just round wire build after round wire build. Like there's some fused Claptons and stuff in there, but it's like just clean, puffy, like perfectly puffy cotton round wire builds, round wire builds. Anyway, this is the guy if you want to go follow him. Or this is the person, rather. Uh, but yeah, I just, I, I liked all these. Just clean ass round wire. That's, that's what this reminded me of. As soon as I saw that, I was like, whoa, maybe this would be good enough for his, good enough for his Instagram. Uh, uh, you think the leads look a little bit long? I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. Should I get back in there and do a little bit more surgery? All right. Let me let me, let me get back in there and do a little bit more surgery and see what's going on. See if I can get that lead uh, down a little bit. What's funny is when I look through these lenses with this lamp on, with this light on at coils on my black like vape mat, you know, that I have on my desk. It just looks like a Jay Hayes up close video portion. That's exactly what it looks like in my eyes, and I can't unsee it. It's crazy. It's like the, the same white lighting, the same distance, the same focus. It's a trip. All right, surgery time. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I see the one you're saying. I see the one you're saying. I see the one you're saying. I'll say it again. Oh, got it. Yeah. I think that's better. You tell me. You tell me. You called it out. I think it looks better. It was that lead. Let's see if I can focus on just that one. It's that one. I think that still looks too long. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Let's get some liquid on this coil. We're going to use Deep Cuts Non Salt 12 milligram.
Get him. No, you didn't miss anything. Yeah, see now... Just building the tripod too, and me discovering the airflow of the tripod too, and saying that it's genius, and then putting it in upside down, and then tribal Buddhas was like, Nick, that's upside down. You put it in wrong. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. So I went, okay. And then we put it in right. And now, here it is. That's 14 watts. It, it ended up coming up, coming out to a 0.68 on this. I should get a different resistance. I should get a fresh resistance on something that's not a, you know. Nothing against you, Geek Vape. But we'll put it on like a DNA something maybe, Gua. We'll try it on the Guar mod. Ground, we ground lead won't matter. Go it. We're going it. Here we go. All I needed was rifle, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's reading a 0 0.7. 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Yes. Okay, so this, what I'm hoping is that the tripod ends up on the Proxima. I'm hoping that the tripod ends up on the Proxima. Here's the thing. I also, I have an extension kit, an extension glass kit, I believe, for this that might help it with the height of the Proxima. We'll see. I, here's the thing, if I commit to the shorter glass, here, let's just put it on there and test fit it. Oh, I can't under overstate how great the fit and finish and like snappy O-rings and how glidey all of these parts are. It's crazy how well this thing fits together. Yes. So yes, extension glass, without a doubt. All I needed was one test fit. That's it. Absolutely extension glass. And then, then we'd really have something. So that means we gotta take the nut out again. Nut comes out. Palmer's powders. Palmer's powders. Oops. How's it going, Palmer's powders? Okay, so I'm just moving the O-rings to the bigger tank, and then I'm going to figure out the rest of this extension glass. What about an RTA? Could you powder coat an RTA, Palmer? Maybe just the outside of it? Oh, and it does come with its own... Okay, so it comes with... It comes with its own nut... It comes with the, so you can use the extension t glass on the extension kit on the mouth to lung or the restricted lung because it comes with extended versions of both of the nuts. So that's good. I don't know exactly what this part is for. Oh, oh, holy shit. Oh, it's just a... Uh, sort of pressure fit because of that nut. Okay, that's kind of genius. Everything about this is kind of genius. I'm so, I promise someday we're going to vape it. Extension glass little nubbin guy here with its own O-ring. You can see uh, tabs. Tabs right there. Tabs and notches. And they just they go together and just press. And just that's it. Like they hold right there if that makes sense. They hold right there. And then you put the bigger glass on. And then you put this, oops, on. Oops, oops. 
and O-rings having a bad time. Yep, and then you put that on, and then you put the longer MTL nut. Dude, this is a really well put together RTA. And I can't get over how well everything slides and glides together. Sliding and gliding. That's what it's all about. A new model. Vape and Butcher's looking for a new mod in the Boro world. Along the Boro line. Well, I mean, look. You, there's lots of options. How much are you looking to spend? <laughs> you can spend hundreds and hundreds. Yeah, that O-ring. Can I show you this? When you finally find the spot, so this is the extended tank with the extension up there, but you can kind of put this on here and feel until you feel the spot and you go, okay, right there. It just dropped into place. That's where it's gonna press straight down. And when you press it straight down, it's like, it's a really satisfying like, Snap of the O-ring, and then you twist it back into place. There's your juice flow. Can you turn off your juice flow if you want while you fill it? Bleh. Bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I, for one, am glad we did round wire in this. Okay, open the juice flow back up. Yes. Get this off of here. Yes. Put it on a Proxima. Oh my God, it's coming together. Ooh. I'm really excited about this setup. I am home alone and spooky season is over. Should I start watching cheesy Christmas movies after this? No. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, just going to stop you right there. It's a little too early for Christmas movies. Okay, that looks sick. Come on. The Proxima with the tripod too? That looks so sick. Uh, with the extension glass? You know what? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. That's an excellent question. Let me see if there's any uh, no information here. Let's see. Nope. Nope. But there's ways of discovering this information. The internet can tell us uh, literally anything you need to know. The internet can tell it to you. I can't tell you where to go or even suggest that you would look for this information on the internet, but... I'm making the general, the broad generalization that the internet can tell us everything we need to know. <laughs> uh, no, okay, that's not on their website. Maybe I'm not supposed to be showing this off. But, uh, no, it should be here. Uh, it, listen, if it falls in line with the tripod V1, the tripod V1 was a three and a half mil extension tank. So it didn't add three and a half mils, but it made the capacity three and a half mils. It seems like it's holding a bit more than that. Hang on, let's see. Uh, 17 watts. Yeah. Nope. I want to go down in wattage, die codes, down in wattage. Does this round robin? Because if it does, I'll just write it out. Oh, but this could go up to 100 watts. Okay. Shit. Power decreasement. There we go. Die codes. Is it die codes or die codes? I've actually never known. I'm genuinely asking a question. I'm not trying to be snippy like with Niachrome. 
0.7 should be at like, mm, we're going to start at 14 watts maximum. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Da <laughs> Bison, do you see, you see how this doesn't help me? Die codes. Die codes. Die codes. Deco oh, de decode S? <laughs> decode S? That's not, see, here's the thing. I think, E. Birdie, you're, you're from, you're in Germany. You're German, correct? Right, and see, now you're just trying to mess with me. Right, well, regardless, this setup uh, just looks super sick. The drip tip needs to be way dorkier. But... Let's just, it, here's the thing. This is the drip tip style. It's the, the RTA itself is just flat. The drip tip is what makes it, gives it that shape. We'll try it. We'll try this drip tip. Chances are we're going to switch to something dorkier. 1.2 millimeter. Oh, 1.2 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. I have a terrible memory. I think we put 1.5 in here. How do I even pronounce that? Not that. This. Well, I'm going to say diacodes. Like niachrome. Dicodes. Dicodes. There's a tip in the package for mouth to lung? Oh, there is a tip in the package for mouth to lung. What would I do without you? Again, Tribal Buddha. And it honestly looks cool. It looks cool. Pretty dorky. But that O-ring is uh, something to be reckoned with. What do you think of that dork level? It's pretty good. Pretty dorky. That is like the perfect setup. Are you kidding me? This is the perfect setup. Uh, 19 watts on a 0.7? Noted. We're going to start at 14 watts. Well, that's pretty good. Yes. This is everything I was looking for. I couldn't get this flavor with my mob two in a boro. I did the first time I built it. And then the second time like I went to go re wick it. And when I re wicked it, the flavor just went, it just disappeared. This is the guava out of an RTA that I was looking for. The crackle is there. I don't really even think I need to go up in wattage at all tribal Buddha, but that's where, you know, that's where you and I just vape differently. I think. Oh my God. Round wire for the win. Round wire for the win. We're putting the round wire in the J3S2. I honestly, so you can take, I can change this airflow without messing with my deck correct like that's the that's one of the selling points of this tripod too which by the way that was super easy to build super easy to wick so i should be able to go like this right yes and i'm gonna put you somewhere safe so you don't fall over that's perfect and then i can do this oh yep and then i can do this Psh, yep and then i can do this and replace the 1.2 you were correct tribal with a one millimeter
can go straight back in the top. Oop, I put it in the bottom again. Damn it, Tribal Buddha. I put it in the tr in the bottom again. <laughs> Somehow that's your fault. Okay, now that it's correctly put in there. Kind of put that in place. All right, that goes into place. It's, I mean, it, it, I got a little bit of liquid on your hands, but this is a, an easy thing to do. It's a possible thing to do. And then, we feel that lock into place. Boom. Now, that should be the one millimeter airflow substantially tighter it's that's a crazy difference between one millimeter and 1.2 millimeters that's obscene we should do mouth to lungs with more in between one and 1 1.2 is that possible can we do like a one point half yep same resistance 14 watts one millimeter Usually put it in the bottom, Mr. Higgins. Mr. Higgins says he puts it in the bottom. How's the flavor? Yeah, that's it. That's what I was looking for. I guess I'm into a little bit tighter of a mouth to lung these days. One millimeter seems to be where I'm landing in this tripod too, which thank you. Shout out to Atmazu for the tripod too and the extension kit. I'm going to do a full review for it uh, on YouTube. Full, full review will be on YouTube, of course. But I'm just going to have uh, a little bit of a love affair session right now with this thing, if you don't, uh, if you don't mind. It fits on there just so perfectly. And, and it come, the, the tank comes right to the top. Great. Side by side. And I end up holding it, I don't know. Don't put it in the bottom. It depends. Sometimes you just put it in the bottom. Just Sometimes you just put it in the bottom. It's a good thing we're talking about vaping, man. Va all, all vaping terminology is just one big that's what she said joke. And it vapes awesome. I, it's so rich and dense, and the flavor on this round wire, I'm not even joking, incredible. Crackle. Can you hear the crackle that's happening on the inside? Actual honest-to-goodness mouth-to-lung crackle, and when you drop down from that 1.2 millimeter to the 1 millimeter, you get a... It's a big change, like more of a change than I've ever really thought about, I guess, but it's a big change, and you get a big rubber band effect. Rubber band effect all day long. I, I love this right now. Right now, I love this. Uh, yeah, vlog is still going to be on Twitch this week. Vlog is still going to be on Twitch this week. The replay will be on... Will be on YouTube by... Saturday... Saturday. I didn't think I have to wait 24 hours, but the replay will be on YouTube as as soon as humanly possible. It, I mean, theoretically, it could go up Thursday. It could go up Friday at 4:30 p.m. in one minute, which is exactly 24 hours. Does it have to be out 24 hours after the live stream ends? Okay, so if that's the case, then yeah, it'll probably be Saturday morning. Uh, Saturday morning replay crew. The flavor on this is banging. The airflow, delightful, smooth, huge rubber band effect. I'm getting a little bit of crackle from this 24 gauge round wire in here. This is it. This is, this is everything I need. 
is unbelievable. And I especially love that it's round wire. I don't know why that makes me so much happier. I think it's just because it's so much more satisfying vaping on coils that you made. I like installing a Breeze Tones hex tone in my RDA to go on my hexome, but putting a round wire build in a mouth to lung, it's just something so satisfying about that. I can't stand it. Crazy rubber band effect, crazy flavor. Dude, this is gonna be, I'm hoping this is gonna be a real successful build stream because this setup right now is really blowing my skirt up as they say. I don't have anything picked out though for the J3S2. I was considering, is it dumb to put that on a mech? Hello to Germany, hello to Stuttgart, Germany. If, are you in Stuttgart? Love it there, love your, love your city. Love your area. <laughs> I spent a week there. It was magical. Let's put round wire in the J3S2. Would it be dumb to put it on a mech? No, I want to do... I don't know how restricted lung the J3S2 can get. I think it can only get so restricted lung. And I've kind of wanted to run it. Is it dumb to put this? Let me just let, just answer me if you think this looks dumb. And then we'll just hard stop. We'll pivot. We'll go somewhere else. I'll put this on something else. But I've been looking for something to put on my Atlas. And I think like an Atlas with the green J3S. Is that dumb? I kind of like this. as like a restricted lung. I know I do have all the pins, but I want to go full the biggest pin that I can pin. I think the biggest pin that I can pin is installed in here already, Adam Breeze Tones. Am I incorrect? Does it look dumb? You got to say no. You're telling me no. All right, let's do some restricted direct lung. It's been so long since I have used this atomizer. Atomizer. There it is. Okay. It's kind of the same way. It's very similar. Yeah, this is the biggest that I can this is the biggest airflow that can that can airflow in there. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Moss Tony. I appreciate that. Appreciate you, Pimp. No, sir, it's not the biggest. Really? All right, let me go find my J3S pins. Easy now. Oh, it's not? This is not the biggest, big, biggest airflow I can airflow? Are you sure? It looks like four millimeters. On a 0.68 build, you're running between 23 and 19 watts. It's not a good idea. Points, uh, yeah, I could, I could build, uh, well, that's what, like, I don't know if I would put Maybe not round wire in this, but maybe if we did like uh, uh, some sort of alien. Let's see what can be done in this. Some sort of alien. Right? I know I said that like three times, but. Alien Fuse Clapton. I don't know why I go into a British accent all the time. KVTV mini mini hexome aliens. Mini hexome aliens. KVTV mini hexome aliens. Yeah, that might be too big. That's too big. Fralians are too big. Frame staples are too big. Quad core aliens. A single quad core alien coil. Is that too much? Because that should come out to like a 0.2 or 0.25, 0.2. Adam, make sure your pin sits hybrid safe, yo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, of course. And peak insulators in the such as. Now that's going to be too big for Corelian. I would need, I need like a uh, 
billet box specific uh, alien. Yeah, it's going to have to be on something regulated, isn't it? It's just going to have to be. There's no way to run it on a Mac. I won't be able to put something low enough in it. Everything's going to be like 0 0.6, 0 0.8 of a single micro type of coil. Yeah, 0.7 single. Yeah, let's, let's keep looking. Sorry, I'm just keep, I'm looking for coils over here. We're going to see what we're going to put in this. My coil drawer is such a mess. I apologize. I should have had these picked out. But I don't know. No. No. It's going to have to be on something regulated. There's just no way around it. No, nope, that's even too big. Every fuse Clapton looks gigantic right now. It looks gigantic. Proper coils. Series aliens. Oh, nice. I didn't know I had those. 0.3. Yeah, microfused 0.4 ohm single. Like, this will work, but we can't run it on a Mac. Oh, this is a used coil. Damn it, Twisted Timmy. We can use a micro fused in here, no problem. But we're going to have to run it on something regulated, and that's just a thing. Uh, there is a, a, a tip a, a tip function here on Twitch. It's, it's very similar to the Hella Chats. Uh, I'll try to find it for you and put it in the description. I'll put it in the, uh, you know... Yeah, should be uh boop right there. And there's no obligation to tip and and you can also uh tip with bits as well. Tip with bits. In fact, yes, I apologize. Let me check and see. I believe there was some uh Yeah, oh definitely. Oh man, I missed a bunch. I missed a bunch. I'm sorry. Thank you, not the real Gerard Butler, for subscribing five days ago. I appreciate that. Chrome had some fist bumps early on in the stream. Uh, little FNG, very sorry I missed this. Greetings from Stellar Vapor over in Lutz, Florida. I'm the new uh, general manager, and the owner put me onto your videos and saw you came to Twitch uh, from YouTube. Love what you do. Keep it up. Hell yeah. Stellar Vapor. Stellar, Va we've been shouting out Doug. It's been Doug previously. I, I don't know, little FNG. You'll have to introduce yourself, but it's previously been Doug over there at uh, Stellar Vapor in Lutz, Florida. Um, love it. Love to see it. Love to see you here. Appreciate you. Oh, and thank you for all those for, for all those follows and subscriptions. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Okay, I need to find my J2S pins, or I might just go with this one. I actually kept something organized for once. I actually kept something organized for once. I've got so many pins. Okay, this is definitely the big. Oh, did you have another one? All right, hang on. Let me get. Let me get you in a sec. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest. Oh, what are you? You look the same. Nope, that looks more restricted. I think this is gonna be the biggest. But look, I you, you'd be proud of me. I kept everything in a box that says J2S stuff. I don't usually do I don't usually I'm not usually that organized. I think this is the biggest airflow pin, so we're gonna leave it as the biggest airflow pin that I can use. Oops.
Come on, pins. There they are. There they are. Yeah, I mean, listen, changing the airflow pins comparatively on the J3S2 is uh, substantially more time consuming and fiddly than on that tripod. And it's not possible to do without messing up your build. Oh no, ah, I fucked it all up. I fucked it all up. Fucked it all up. I was screwing it into nothing. It's making an abomination of this deck. Man, changing the airflow pins on this is difficult. Don't lose your peak insulator. And I, I wish I could show you to do this on camera, but I don't have the... skills or or hands or cameras to be able to do that why did they do it this way why won't this thread in Okay, there. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. And now we're back to square one. So look, no harm, no foul. Here we go. We still don't have a device that we're going to put this on. I wish I had a... Uh... Can I put it on a mix? Can I put this on a mix? Is that, the, is that a question? This might be able to go on this mix, on a black mix. Let's try this on a side-by-side. -side. I know it's only a single 18650, but look, single 18650 is not terrible for restricted lung. Oops, yeah, oh, that's correct. We'll try it. We'll have to build it on the Guarmod, but we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try to have its final home as the as the Aspire mix there. Boom! It's Phillips head screws, so of course I grab my flathead screwdriver. Pretty good distance on those screws. All right, we're gonna shoot for this Twisted Timmy micro fused. It's has it's gonna have to be on that regulated, so it's gonna have to go on that mix. There's no way to run this on a mech, as I've established. I'm sorry for repeating myself. But damn, I mean, this is the same basic idea. There's that great notch to put your tool in. It just lines up your coil perfectly. You can just hold the edges of your coil. Screw this down, I'm sorry. My fingers are gonna be in the way. Yeah, crazy easily done. Although it doesn't give you much room to like really move your coil around. But it does let you install it centered, perfectly centered every single time. 100%ly centered every single time. Yeah, I might end up sending you an RDA for vaping V2, Ashton Palmer. We'll see, we'll see. I'm always trying to think of stuff to send to you, and then I remember that you, like, I want to send you a billet box, but those are difficult, right? Or not super possible. Well, it's installed. It's not, like, super pretty. I 
Is this music super annoying? I better put on my surgery glasses, you know. I, I, put, I put on my Jay Hayes vision glasses to trim these leads, you know. Oh, it doesn't even need to be that precise. Not bad. Fairly easily done. I guess that's all there really is to it. Let's go. It's reading a point nine right now. That's going to be a high resistance, uh, high resistance restricted lung. And it's only, I think it's only going to go up from there. Well, it's twisted Timmy's coil, so it's going to glow pretty evenly and quickly. I just got to position it into place since you can't really do that with a round tool. I just had to do it with my tweezers. Old school, you know. And now the wicking. The wicking sort of the most difficult part of this, and I'm not going to take apart this tank right now because I don't want to fiddle around with the t this, this you know, the emblem or anything like that, but I will show that's what they did. Shout out to Monarchy Poland. That's cool as hell. The GG on the J3S, like, that's cool. It says Grim Green. What the hell? That's rad. That's cool. So, but we're not going to take it this apart. Or, or fiddle with it, uh, literally in any capacity. Now, the wicking. The GD wicking of the J3S. It's the hardest part of this whole RTA. I don't even remember how I did it the last time. Stay hydrated. I don't really know. Breeze do you remember? Breeze Tones, can you guide me? I think I remember just leaving tufts of cotton like up and over the edge a little bit so that when the chimney comes down, these slots in the chimney will line up with your bent parts of the wick. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's how it goes. What's up, Josh K.? Monster Custard. I love it. Monster Custard. Yeah. It's hard because you're saying it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard because you're saying it's hard. I can hear that in your voice, just whispering reassurances to me. It's only hard because you're making it hard. Yeah. Correct? I feel like that's correct. Yeah. Correct. I think that's correct. The Mr. Todd diagonal cut cut techniques works with this RTA if concerned about the volume of cotton. Diagonal cut. I have not watched Todd's diagonal cut. I have not. 
I should. I feel like I definitely should. Can you explain it to me in like one second? Yeah. Too much? I was just waiting for that. That's the chat I was waiting for from Breeze Tones. Too much? Yeah. Please, too much. This mouth to lung is banging. This deep cuts guava tastes delicious. Like... Wow, delicious. More delicious than I have in recent memory. I think more delicious than all of the flavor I was getting from the mob, too. I haven't enjoyed a mouth to lung on this experience in a while. I mean, the mob, too, has been my banger, but this. Woo! Mob, too, what? Mm hmm. Flush and fluff and trim flush. Fluff and trim flush, he says. Am I going to need my surgery glasses for this? I'm going to put on my Jay Hayes, Jay Hayes vision glasses. We're going to do some, some, some fine tuning. Okay. All right, Adam. It's time. I need your judgment. I think this looks great. Personally. I don't know why I drift into British accents all the time. Huh? Huh? Not bad. Right to the edge. I feel good about this. Feel much better about this? Because it comes down. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go, restricted long. What should I put in this? How about. I keep wanting to vape this in everything. That's the cherry cheesecake. It's the it's the Beecher cherry cheesecake. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Don't forget the under under the under tickle. Fluff matters. Really, fluff matters. Hashtag fluff matters. Oh, thank you, Black Yoshi. I appreciate that. It's my pleasure, man. It's my pleasure. Look, the, the build streams for me have become like fun things that I want to fiddle around and set up because so much of my job consists now of editing videos and, you know, doing non, do, doing basically everything that's the non funnest part about vaping. And so on the build streams, I get to set up fun things that I want to vape and vape, you know, the Proxima on the tripod too. And like, remember that vaping is like, a, oh, a vaping is a fun hobby that I have. It's not just work all the time. If we're fluffing the wicks, we're fluffing the wicks, you know? I'm going to try to... Maybe we give these a proper fluff? Like, like that? Is it really like that fluffy you need it? And then I'll, I'll cut it, I'll cut it flush again. Fluffy? How, how fluffy? <laughs> I don't remember doing this much fluffy. Thank you, Breeze Tones. Thank you for your guidance thus far. If it goes off the rails completely, I have nobody to blame but you. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Appreciate you. Okay. I'm just going for it. I'm going to see what happens. 
It's the Beecher Strawberry ch 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 uh, Cherry Cheesecake. Cherry Cheesecake. I keep coming back to it. It's just, I find it real nice, real delightful, and I find that I can vape it for a while and not, like, get sick of it. And that's an important thing to have in a liquid, I think. All right. Fingers crossed. Oh, this is way too high of a resistance. Holy shit. I'm going to be running this at such a freaking low wattage. Even that. Even this. Just this. Ready? <laughs> That's 10 watts. That's crazy. Send it up at 0.19. So, let's try to get this back on here. And you can feel it like... Yeah. Boop into place. And that's booped into place. All right. That seems booped into place to me. This might be a pain in the ass on the mix. This could be just a pain in the ass on the mix. It's not an all-day vape for you, Vicky Benji. <laughs> I'll for Vicky, I'll forever call you Vicky Benji, and I hope that's okay. Just want to make sure that pin is snug and everything's good and you know. Make sure it fires and everything on the mix here. Oh, this is going to be actually pretty perfect, I think, size-wise. I was worried about it. It doesn't quite sit all the way flush down on there. That's interesting. Yeah, and so... Why can't I see... Was one of these, I guess that's open. All right, here we go. Let's go. Fill it up. Fill it up and hope it, hope it doesn't leak. Fill it up. That's what you, that's the best you can do for any vaping product ever. Just fill it up, hope it doesn't leak. I've been saying that for you know 13 years it's about to be 14 years and that's bananas bananas okay yeah that airflow feels good i don't see any bubbles happening but that's okay that's fine it'd be cooler on the stormtrooper just saying I don't know if it would fit as well, honestly. We can try it. Let's try it. Why not? Really, it would look the sickest on this Mac. Oh, my camera died. Nick, why don't you get the one that plugs in? <laughs> Apathy Miller. Yeah, Rip Trippers. Here, it, yeah. Everybody started after me, Apathy Miller. And I'm not saying that in like an arrogant way. I'm saying that everybody on YouTube right now started after me. Every, sorry, every vape account. Every vape account. Phil Basardo is the closest to start. I think he started a year after me. What do you mean my battery is exhausted? It should be coming back any second. Sorry, I apologize. Just a little dangle clack here. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Things will be back in a second. I always rooted for Rip Trippers. Okay, come on now. What, both of these batteries are dead? Okay, okay, maybe I don't know how to handle my batteries.
All right, well, this is the last hope, and this is okay because we don't actually need any more uppy closey time right now. Yeah, all my batteries noped out. Uh, I took the Sonder U uh, bunk, Steve. My Sonder U is currently like completely missing in action. Uh, and it's because, like I said in my review, they sent me one unit, one battery, one pod. That's it. So once that pod, I took that pod to the limit of how long it would live and kept going with it. In fact, I think I kept it on my desk. I don't think I threw it away. Oh, maybe I did throw it away. Uh, it went for an impressive amount of time and I'm literally just Sonderless at the moment. Uh, I need to buy more pods. I've reached out to Geek Vape and asked for, you know, giveaway units to give away, uh, but I haven't heard back anything. I, I love this thing. I love it. I, I will buy more pods, 100%. I'm just Sonderless right now, and it's been a little bit off my radar because of, you know, uh, other multiple, many other pods on my desk that are, you know, going through the process and getting reviewed and all that and the such as. All right, well, let's see how it goes on the Stormtrooper because I don't think it's going to be tall enough. Yeah, it's not. It's going to look way dumb on here, dude. Way dumb. See? Pr proof. Proof. It's too short. Look at that dinky little tank in there. A dinky little tank on the Stormtrooper. I feel like that is mm, not a good fit. Yeah, I always ask for stuff to give away. When I get something, when I find something that's good or when I get something that's good, I always ask for stuff for giveaway units. So I think the mix is going to be the final resting place. At least for right now. The right now re resting piece. I'd have to go... <laughs> that little nub and mouth piece, I know, doesn't do you any favors. I wonder if this is even wicking. Yeah, so this is one ohm. That is bonkers. So we're going to start this at literally like... 11 and a half watts. <laughs> 11 and a half watts, just in case I need to prove it. Oh, look, my close camera's back. One ohm, 11 and a half watts. This is the final resting place for the J3S2 Green Grim Green Edition. A black mix. Doesn't really uh, blow my skirt up. It doesn't do much for me, you know? Maybe on the stainless mix, it would look better. I don't have any other cool side-by-sides. I don't have any other cool side-by-sides. Mm, that's frustrating. It's not frustrating, you know. I just want to put it on something cool. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Let's see if this is actually going to work in Wick. That flavor is really good on this. It's, there's, that's undeniably good flavor. Uh, 14 watts. 1 ohm, 14 watts, restricted lung. Much better. Much better. Much better. Might be able to even go up a little higher than watt. I don't want to you know, go too high. I don't want to get out of hand here, you know. But I want to have a good vape. I want to have a warm vape. 17 watts. Here we go. Buckle in. That's delightful. That is thoroughly delightful. Uh, I don't love this J3S tip for restricted lung, but I'm going to continue using it. I wish I had something taller and dorkier on there. In fact, we can correct that right now. We definitely need something taller and dorkier on there. Without hesitation. Uh, something that can kind of bring it all together. I should really treat my drip tips better. Something like this. Oh, is that too much? Too dorky? Dork, dork factor high? Doesn't match, and it's blue. 
It doesn't match and it's blue, but I feel like that's a that's a good vape. The just try it, yeah. I see the only just try it I have that's black right now is in my Oh, it's a little bit of like a it's a little bit of a loose fit. Doesn't quite fit in there, but that actually does kind of bring it all together. And what I like about this RTA is, besides the flavor being really very good, the airflow, it, it's loud and a little bit abrasive if you drag too hard. But if you lighten up your drag a little bit, if you just make it a little bit smoother of a drag instead of like a forceful drag, smooths up. That was me trying to snap my fingers. Smooths right up. Dork Factor Maximum, that's actually perfect on there. Maybe this one, maybe the Oleg can live on the, yeah, maybe here, maybe the Oleg can live on here now for a bit. Wish I had a purple Oleg tip. Is my battery dead? Yes, excellent. Battery's dead. See, that's the thing about having your battery level indicator behind a little panel. That's a bummer. I don't know why I keep vaping that. This has been one of, if not the most successful build stream. Two wins. Two full-on wins. No, no problems, no issues, no nothing. The tripod 2 in mouth to lung with a one millimeter airflow pin in it is flawless just wow right now and the flavor is bang in bang in dense rich vapor Gordo, yeah, mouth to lung crackle. You know, it's easy, it's easier, I guess, to get mouth to lung or to get restricted lung and direct lung crackle than it is to get mouth to lung crackle. Mouth to lung crackle is difficult to do. Somehow, this 24 gauge round wire in here, flawless, flawless. And both of these setups, honestly, look pretty cool. Look pretty cool. Products of the build stream. Frames Janklin, have that high five, Chris Frames Janklin. Appreciate you, bro. I know it's tu it's Tuesday afternoon. You're probably at work. Most everybody's at work. Germany's awake. That we get to hang out with Germany on Tuesday afternoons. I can't get over how much I'm enjoying that mouth to lung on that tripod. And I'm surprised. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see how much higher we can go. I don't want to go really too much higher. Let's try 18 watts. 18 watts on a one ohm. This is a one ohm fuse Clapton twisted Timmy coil in here. Flavor for days. It's not even, it's not warm. It's like cool, but really voluminous. Earn has today off. Well, I appreciate you spending your day off with me, Ern. That means a lot. Does that mean I have to spend my day off with you? On my day off, I'll just show up at Ern's house and be like, hey, I'm here to hang out. It's your day off. Build something for me, and I'll watch you. <laughs> Do a build stream for me. I really like this cooler vapor. This is really doing it for me. You're, you're correct, Steve. 10 years ago, 17, 75, 17 watts would have been out of control. I remember old videos. I've deleted old videos this week. Thank you, YouTube. But I've deleted old videos this week that where I was talking about, oh, it, you know, I don't want to go 10 watts. You know, 10 watts seems pretty high <laughs> for this resistance. I'm like, 10 watts seems pretty high. Put that put that 0.7 at 19 watts, damn it. Yeah. Tribal Buddha. 
Okay, I will, but if this tribal Buddha, if this like singes my coils or something a little bit, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just re re wick it and then be be sad. You're you're gonna make me sad. 19 watts, okay? 19 watts. I, I need proof. That's 19 watts. Tribal Buddhas, peer pressuring me to use this at 19 watts. I mean, look, here's the thing. It's good. It's good. It's actually a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit better objectively. It warms up faster. You get to the crackle much faster, much faster. And it's warmer, but it's not necessarily the way that I like a mouth to lung RTA. And this is because my brain has been trained by K funds over the years, but I much prefer warming a coil up to take a few hits than getting instant warmth out of 19 Watts, if that makes sense. So let me turn this back down to 14 Watts. I might even turn it lower than 14 Watts. We'll turn it down to 14 Watts because I like to do You, like the second hit when you're you doing stack dragons is always much better. You take an initial one out the nose, a second one. I'm, 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 I'm not teaching people how to vape. YouTube's going to tear my channel down. I'm just explaining how I like to vape a mouth to lung for anybody watching. My intent right now is to describe how I like to vape a mouth to lung. What I like to vape in a mouth to lung is that initial toot right out the nose just to warm it up. You take your finger off the button for one second, fire it again so your coils are still warm. So your coils are like heating up from a warmer state and then you get one big pull. You can usually get like two big pulls after that. And then if you tried to do again, it may, may be a little bit dry or something like that, but that's how I like to do mouth to lung personally. I like to earn it. I like to warm, like, warm the coil up throughout the toots. Yeah, the primer puff. And it's just it's a holdover from the days of when primer puffs were like a completely necessary thing. The primer puff. And sometimes it's so good. And sometimes you don't even I didn't even take my finger off of the button right there. It's like per gunny. It's like purging on a dripper. Perfect. Perfect analogy. It's like purging on a dripper. Oh my God, it's so good. That's so good. That is delicious. All right, you guys. Hey, thank you for hanging out, dude. This has been a successful build stream. It's 1.13 now. Uh, we've been going uh, a little too long, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate you guys being here on Twitch for the Tuesday build and chill. This is where, like I said, I just uh, like to fiddle with vape stuff. And this is like the one time a week I get to do it. And it's, and it doesn't feel like work. I know that technically it's work, but it doesn't feel like work. It feels like we get to hang out and you get to rag on the way I build stuff and tell me I do things wrong. And then we end up at the end with hopefully two super dope vapes that will, you know, carry me through the rest of the week. That's all I did last week after last week's build stream. That GT4S and that Astro were just in my hand all week long. I have a feeling the cheesecake and the mouth to lung guava are not going to leave my hands yet again. Yet again. Uh, okay, fine, Jolly Roger. Hey, I, I really do appreciate you guys coming out. Let me see if there was any more uh, chats or bits used. Uh, yo, yo, Grim, uh, Black Yoshi. Yo, yo, Grim. Yo, yo, Grim. Thanks, thanks for taking the time to chill with us today. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate you. Hey, Black Yoshi, appreciate you, pimp. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know. It's Twitch. So follow, subscribe if you want to. Uh, don't forget to cheese your jelly. Don't forget to chop wood. Don't forget to spood your pumpkin. Uh, was there any other things I'm forgetting? Oh, that's right. Drink your night milk. Milk your night cat. And what was the, what was the last one? 
What was the last one? Don't quite remember. Earn is absolutely correct. Tomorrow, I'm very much looking forward to it. 6 p.m. We're gonna go. We're gonna play some Zelda. We're gonna do some more DLC shrines. DLC. DLC. That's right. Don't forget the moisturizer lugs of Abelurbadorb. That's the last one. I always forget that one. Don't forget the moisturizer lugs of Abelurbadorb vape. Please don't actually vape Lubadorb, but you should because the moisturizer lugs. <laughs> don't cheese your jelly. You should always cheese your jelly. You put cracker, and then you put cheese, and then you put jelly. You cheese that jelly, cheesing it right into your mouth hole. Vape little bit of moisturizer lungs. Anyway, peace out, you guys. Uh, big love. Remember, vaping rules in Bloomberg sucks. Vote no on Prop 31 in California. Vote no on Prop 31 in California. Okay. Peace out, guys. I'm going to just vape the crap out of these. <laughs> big love. Powder your furniture. <coughs> it's like 1030, and then I'm going to smoke so